Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, today practical explanation of 1.8 volts uh, BIOS chip. So I am going to explain. So how it will work in RT809F without any casing. What is that? 1.8 volts adapter will be there now. Without that adapter, how we can program this and we can run the uh, run on the board successfully. Okay. See, here is the AMD board. And the chip is. See, I'll show you. What is the chip name? The chip name is 25U MX 25U 64 uh, 6435F. Okay, so if you open in uh, what is that in software, what it shows that we will check. Hmm? So in the system, I am opening the software. Okay. What it shows, let us check. It's open. So, what is that? It's a 25. Okay, just ignore. Just I wanted to show you. Ignore. 25, sorry, 25U 64 35. F right enter see if I enter this so what it shows please use 1.8 volts SPI adapter okay so you can uh, check in the schematic see SPI 25 the voltage is what is that 1.8 volts right see it is the pin number 8 is 1.8 volts and pin number 1 is 1.8 volts so now what I am going to do is, so I am copying the same BIOS to my system, I am erasing this BIOS, okay, I am writing in 3.3 volts uh, adapter, okay, without 1.8 volts adapter, I will reprogram the BIOS and let me check what will happen, okay. I have removed the BIOS, see here is the BIOS chip, here is the red one, it's a pin number 1. So I am going to connect to this connector, both are same, if I form, uh, what is that, solder it, that also good and here also you can use this one also, that also good, okay. So I am going to connect, there is that pin number 1, pin number 1 is here, so I am going to connect the RT, it is an RF. Now let us check in the system, so connected, I will open the software, see it is open. Now auto. See what I told previously. If F will come, then it's 1.8. Here it's a E will come in MX. So that is 3.3. Okay. So if I put F 100%, it will show 1.8. See, I'm putting F. Enter. See, now you will get a message. Please use 1.8 volts adapter. But I'm not going to do that. So just I'm going auto. Okay, I am going to do that auto. In auto detection, it's E as directed. So now what I will do, I will read this bias. Okay, I will save in a place. And then finally same bias, I am going to uh, format and recopy to the same bias chip. And I will put the uh, bias chip in the motherboard and I will check the display. Will it come or not? This is actually live, completely live. So it's a practical experiment. You also can enjoy, you also can try. Okay, it's reading everything, it's auto, it's successfully read, read. Now it asking to save this file, particular file. Okay, so I'm uh, opened a folder in the desktop, on the desktop. It's a Dell 3465 AMD. So there I'm going to save. The name is same thing. Okay, save. So now what I'm going to do is I am opening the same file. Okay, open. So where I saved on the desktop. Dell 3465. See, this is the file, right? So, which one? Say it only. Just a minute. Just now, which one saved? It's, this is the latest one. So, MX25U. So, this one I am going to open. Now, I am reading, writing this one, okay? See, this right. Right in the sense, it will overwrite. Where, uh, where it's overwrite, see, it's, here it's E, right? So, E in the sense, it's a 3.3 volts, not 1.8 volts. 
if I press in MX, MXC, if E comes, it's a 3.3 volts bias, and if F comes, it's a 1.8 volts bias. Okay, so please remember it. Mm, next, see, I opened the file. Now I am going to write. See, I put the right here. It's writing. Array successful. All got erased. Now it started. Now it's start writing. It will take little time. See the percentage, three percent. It will increase. Okay, once it erases, so what are the previous one? Everything will go right. So same bias only. I'm writing down. This one is MXIC. Okay. That's why it's showing in uh, RT eight zero nine F. So it's taking little time. See here. Okay, here is the chip. Fix it here. There is no converter actually. See, there is no converter. So now it's seventeen percent. Uh, guys, I was trying to do the bias, but. I'm really unlucky. So it's not taking. See, it got actually when it was it started uh, to write. So it it was showing it's a poor contact and it didn't write. So my error has come. So once again I'm trying this. See, Max, so this is uh, it got detected now. So I'll try once again to write. So open file which I copied now. Same files I'm going to write. So let us check. It will complete or not. If it completes, it's okay. Otherwise, some alternative things we need to check. So, so auto erasing. See, it's taking more time. Till the time I will pause it. See here, it's taking. See, it's taking long time. So last time also it took more uh, time and it gave error. So here, MX IC is not going to do anymore. Okay. So we don't have luck. Now anyway we copied the bias, right? So why can't we try in WinBand? Okay. So I do one thing. So I will copy in WinBand. It is WinBand 1.8 volts IC bias. Okay. So I'll try my luck. I'm doing experiment. That's all. If not, also uh, nothing to worry. I'll uh, collect that adapter and I'll do that. But the thing is, the fact, practical facts. I'm trying. See, in this, for 22 percent, it's taking more time. Then finally, it gives error. This is second time I'm doing. So there is no luck. So that's why I'm. What I'm going to do is, I'm cancelling this. I cancel. Remove this. See here, I have wind bond. Okay, wind bond. Uh, focus it. Will it come? It's a 64 FW, not V. Okay, it's a 1.8 volts wind bond. I see. From here, I will try. Let try my luck. Will it work or not? The same thing which I copied now from this MX I see. That bias only I will write down. So here is the one. Don't think this is adapter. This is not adapter. Okay. Now I connect properly. So let me check once again. It's a wind bond. Okay. It's a 1.8 volt IC. So now check the software. Auto mode. Yes, it's detected as 25Q64 FV. It's a 3.3. Actually, IC is 1.8 volts IC bias. Bias IC. Okay. So now I am going to write in 3.3 volts. Yesterday I told you know by practically I will show you my display will work or not. Okay, this is a different motherboard. That's not LA A double nine four because that the chipset has some issue I think so. Okay, anyway, but here it's a AMD bias. So 1.8 volts MXC was there. I copied the original file. Okay, I will open that. See, this is the MXC. See the timings here. So now I am copying the same thing. Eight by uh, what is that? Eight one nine two KB. That one I am opening. Now I'll start right. Will it start? 
Yes, of course, it will start because writing the program is not an issue in uh, 809F. But one thing, guys, I noted that MXIC is giving little bit trouble. One time it will detect and other time it won't detect. That is a major issue. But anyway, uh, I tried to copy that particular BIOS in the, on the desktop. So same file, I not changed anything. The original file only I am copying in WinBond. So let me try that uh, luck. So now it's auto erasing. <coughs> it do or not that also I don't know. This is a live experiment. I'm not telling you people also do this, but the practical experiment, the truth, I'm finding out. But I'll suggest you use that 1.8 volts adapter if you don't know much because uh, there will be problem with the adapter uh, which you connecting to the RT809F that also may be the issue but some people will think it's actually issue with the uh, what is that uh, uh, some adapter right so when you use 1.8 volt IC that is the issue they will think actually they feel like that so that's why I'm uh, suggesting you to put 1.8 volts connectors converters and then you can use now practical purpose I'm doing this see now it's done Verify also done in 3.3 volts. See here. So now I am going to solder it. Sorry, I am going to put this bias in the mother on the motherboard. So let me check the luck. Okay, I fixed it. So now what I am going to do is I will show this bias IC number. What it is? Then you come to know uh, which I put that is a right or not. So wind bond twenty five Q sixty four FW. Okay, now it's clear, right? So now in the live, see this is the IC. Directly in live, I'm going to on it. Hmm? Oh, there is a connector. Focus here. Hmm. Now, see the DC machine. It's 13. Actually, here there is no CMOS. It should uh, start automatically. Okay. Once more, I'll remove and I'll try. See, it started. See here. See the display. See the board. Still the same IC is there. Bias IC. See the display. It's a see the this one. Just give me. I'll handle this. See once it get off and again it started. DC machine. What is the display? Yes. See. It's purely 1.8 volts wind bond. A return in 3.3 volts IC. Sorry, not IC, it's a software. Okay, FV I have done instead of FW. So, initially it was uh, MXIC, so first I copied. But the thing is, in RT809F, uh, if you use MXIC, so there is a problem. Once you can read it a second time, it gives some errors. So, poor contact or uh, some pins are not connected like that. So, for that, you need to take 1.8 volts uh, con uh, connector or converter, or whatever it may be, some different bias uh, you have to use, bias programmer. But in RT809F is not suitable for MXICs. Hmm? That by experience I am telling, but uh, which is the fact that you have to uh, feel experience and you can uh, come to know. Hmm? So, now so the display has come. See, constantly it's working fine. So here I will conclude it. So using wind band 1.8 uh, volts IC, I can get the display. Okay, this bias IC is good actually. So I tried in uh, LEA A double N4, there was no display, but here we got the display. Okay, so thank you, thank you very much.